It's Friday, 14th September, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. The President has appointed Justice Ranjan Gogoi as the 46th Chief Justice of India. Justice Gogoi will assume office from October 3rd. He is the first Chief Justice of India from Assam. The warrant of appointment comes in less than 10 days after incumbent Chief Justice Deepak Mishra recommended Justice Ranjan Gogoi as his successor. The Press Information Bureau released a statement about the appointment. Justice Gogoi would have a tenure as Chief Justice of India for about 13 months till his retirement on November 17, 2019. Justice Gogoi was one of the four senior most Supreme Court judges who held the January 12th press conference bringing up the issue of selective assignment of sensitive cases by recent CJIs to certain judges in the Supreme Court. Chief Justice Mishra subsequently published a subject-wise roster of cases assigned to justices in the Supreme Court. In various judgments, one of them by a constitution bench headed by Chief Justice Mishra himself, the Supreme Court went on to declare the CJI as the master of the roster. In a recent lecture, Justice Gogoi said the country needs independent journalists and noisy judges. Myanmar's Aung San Suu Kyi, on September 13th, robustly defended the jailing of two Reuters journalists who were reporting on the Rohingya crisis as she hit back at global criticism of a trial widely seen as an attempt to muzzle the free press. The country's de facto leader acknowledged that the brutal crackdown on the Muslim minority, which the United Nations has cast as genocide, could have been handled better but insisted the two reporters had been treated fairly. They were not jailed because they were journalists, but because the court has decided that they had broken the Official Secrets Act, she said. Ms. Suu Kyi, once garlanded as a global rights champion, has come under intense pressure to use her moral force inside Myanmar to defend the pair. Four days before Vijay Malaya left the country, Kingfisher Airlines' largest lender, State Bank of India, reportedly did not act on the legal advice it got to approach the Supreme Court seeking an order restraining Malia's overseas travel. Senior Supreme Court lawyer Dushyant Dave says he offered this advice after top SBI management, having an inkling that Malia may flee India, insisted on meeting Dave on Sunday, February 28, 2016. Speaking to reporters, Dave said that in his meeting that Sunday, he advised SBI to approach the Supreme Court on Feb 29, 2016, for getting an order restraining Malia from leaving the country. SBI chairperson and people at the top within the government knew about this meeting and the advice given by me. However, there was no action taken on it. Malia left the country four days later. The way said that SBI's legal advisors came for the meeting along with four top officials of the bank. It was agreed that they would meet Monday morning to get an order from the Supreme Court restraining Malia from leaving the country. It was a very specific advice and even as we agreed to meet the next morning at 10 a.m., the SBI officials did not come, said the way. As with fuel prices from key metros, in Chennai, petrol is sold for 84.19 rupees per litre and diesel for 77.25 rupees per litre. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 81 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.08 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 88.39 rupees per litre and diesel for 77.58 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 82.98 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.03 rupees per litre.